The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, my name is Leo Connors, and welcome to The Ring and All Other Sports. Today, I got a very special guest, the sci-fi psychopath, Sean Lita. Sean, thanks for coming on the show, man. How you doing? Oh, good. Good, Nervous. good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you did a podcast five days at the start of the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, with uh, Davis Wright. Yeah. On uh, working is a shoot. Yeah. Work, in um, work into a shoot. Work into a shoot. I'm sorry about that, Davis. With friend of the show and former guest here, Davis Wright. Real quick, I want to wish Davis all the mm. best on his move to Michigan. Yeah, that's cool. Right? You know what I mean? You want to say goodbye to him? Later, brother. See you soon. Hopefully. And, and this is how good I am at like my show. When I started to read it, I thought I was going to be talking about you. Okay. <laughs> and it was about him. But I didn't want to miss out because he's a nice guy. Yeah. And I know you like he's him. He's awesome. A lot. He I is. Love him. All right. So let's get into some fan questions. Sure. All right. Uh, Stephen Baker wants to know what made you fall in love with pro wrestling? The characters, yeah, definitely the characters. Uh, I'm I'm big on like the probably late '80s, early '90s okay. WWF yeah. stuff. Oh man, um, just the, the the face paint, the gimmicks, right? The, the the overall look and feel of it. You, you felt like you were going to. The, the greatest show on earth. Yeah, like know? like like you different know? type of circus. Yeah, for sure, exactly. absolutely. Yeah, I, and I that's when that what great. like that's like when Akeem the Dream and all that stuff, yep. right? Doink big boss, the clown, yeah. big boss man, yes. nails. Yeah, <laughs> you know, some like, awesome <laughs> characters. And back when wrestling was really still the big man game. Yeah, you know what I mean. You really didn't see a lot of smaller guys. Now yeah. it's a lot different. Yeah, it's crazy now. Absolutely. All right, um, Grayson Flax wants to know. Who are two people that inspired you the most? Preferably one you have met and one you haven't. Thanks, Grayson. Okay. I've never met Grayson, but he seems like a great kid, man. He is. He's a, he's a good Everybody dude. says that about him, too. Um, I'd say two people. One that I've met yeah. would be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Nice. And that was, that was a cool moment. He told me a story about how he started using the arm drag and stuff like that. That was probably top three moments of my life right um and another one that i haven't would be rowdy rowdy piper nice yeah he's someone that i i really would have loved to meet oh yeah no doubt i bet uh, and i've met ricky dragon steamboat too and he's like yeah, he's, he's such so a nice guy cool. yeah and in the picture he looks like he could be my dad we both had the same <laughs> yeah. i was catering for roh remember when he did some work with roh with yep. punk and all that that's yep. when i met him and what a nice guy yeah he's all right cool uh, Ken Watson wants to know, where does your inspiration for your gimmick come from? I wanted to know this too. Oh, uh, th this is this is actually kind of crazy because uh, I didn't learn this until after I had like moved back and started wrestling again. Okay, it was uh, I was at a training and Vinnie Marseglia uh, just told me to start picking at things from your media, movies, music, right. stuff like that. So I just dove right into horror movies, sci-fi films, stuff like that. And, right. Uh, that's basically how like I started kind of coming up with my character, starting getting ideas for stuff. And just I just kind of ran with it. Nice. It was it was probably some of the best advice I've ever gotten. Nice. Vinny Vinny doesn't get uh, brought up enough as as such a talented guy that he is yeah. compared to the guys, you know what I mean, that get signed to like WWE Anthony and Christian. Yeah. But I mean, he is an incredible, credible talent. I'm uh, very creative too. That was yeah, a good guy to go and ask yeah. for some knowledge there. Ryan Sousa wants to know, better to be loved as a heel or hated as a face? No one's ever asked that question. Yeah. That's a good question. Mm, you know, I, I I had like I had taken a good chunk of my time last night to think about this too. Right. Uh, loved as a heel or hated as a face. I'd rather be loved as a heel. Yeah. Yeah, because if you're a face and they hate you, that means you suck at what you're doing. Let me tell you. Yeah, especially if it's remember, <laughs> you know, remember the back in the day, people the Xbox love, heat. Yeah, but like people love to hate the bad guy. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, exactly. So, uh, all right. 
That was like, that's yep. my kind of uh, Love the zeal. Sounds that. good. Uh, Steven Russo wants to know, what does the future hold for Sean Leader? Um, uh, I, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> there's there's, there's a couple you things coming. Yeah. Don't then. That's, yeah. that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to do it. Yeah. Uh, but I can't say anything yet because it hasn't been announced. Right. I'm sorry. It's that's awesome. Though. It's good to know that there may be things coming, guys. Yep. All right. Tim Murray. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you read this because oh, you answered oh, it. All right. I know this. I got to figure out how to, how to say it without sounding right. too corny, you no, know? That's cool. Funniest story of someone on uh, number two in themselves in the ring. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's not a story about somebody else. Yeah. It's and it's not in the ring. Although I do know, like I know people yeah, that yeah. have. Oh, they, there's I been know, many stories told here. I've, I've, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, this was actually. If you go back on YouTube, you find a match, and it's myself against Chris Cruz. And I think it's like my first title defense right. as RWA champion. And uh, I, I got sick like the day before. So, <laughs> so long story short, yeah. I shit my pants that morning. Yeah. And then I went out and had that match like a couple hours later. Right. And you can see it on my face by like three quarters of the way through that match you were struggling i i just yeah i just wanted to go sit on a toilet <laughs> all right so <laughs> i'm kind of bad i had to tell that story but that's probably but, the funniest one that i have right about somebody shitting their pants is yeah. that me that morning and then i went out and had this like 20 minute match with nice. Cruz, and it was it was a good match. Yep. I'm surprised I made it because I thought I was gonna die. You know, as a fan, <laughs> before I had this show, I never thought of like that 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 would be something that happened so much in wrestling, right? Yeah. As a fan, I never even thought of it. Yeah. Now that I you know do, do the show, I must have had at least twenty people <laughs> say that everyone has probably shit themselves in the ring. Yeah, I mean you it know? happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That's Tim's question. I think we got a few more. Hey, some guy named uh, Bobby Rossi. All right. What are some of your biggest matches? Uh, wow. All right. So, um, definitely the last, actually the last couple of matches were probably some of my biggest. And, uh, those were, uh, my match with Ophidian. Yep. That was that outside the box. Uh, guy, uh, by the name of Jason Bowman ran that show. Okay. That's awesome dude. Yeah. Um, and my match with AG at Proving Ground. Nice. That was probably one of my favorites as well because I learned a lot from right. just both encounters. Oh, I can imagine. Was, that Affinity dude's a really good wrestler too. So I'm a, I mean, obviously we know we all know Anthony Green's great. I'm only yeah. bringing up Affinity because I didn't see him that often yeah. live, but he's a hell of a wrestler too. He's a dude that I used to watch when I started wrestling. Okay. Uh, back in 2005, 2006-ish. Yep. And uh, I'd watch him regularly. I'd even go to the ch shows, right, right, you know. And uh, and that was just one. Of, that was just one match that I knew that uh, my style would mesh with his style, right. and it would probably come out really cool. Nice. So it was always just something that I, would, I just wanted to have. Right, right. And so you brought him up. You wrestled him. That mm -hmm. experience with Anthony Green. I mean, Austin Gray. Yeah. August. Gray. August. August Gray. August. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know who he is. Right. But he's he's another dude, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, just he has ideas for days, no matter what you're talking about, and yep. he's a good person uh, to go to for information right. if you want like a genuine answer. Yeah, that's good because you need that. Yeah, you need that. But see, people that did that for him, so he just gave him back, like you know, was given him. And that's I pretty knew awesome. Him back in the day when he was a ref. Oh, you did know him. Then. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I've known him. Like, so you've been going to shows for a long time because I kind of yeah. changed up the format. The old, the old yeah. format would have, I would have known this by now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been watching it since I was right. little. I, I mean, I obviously grew up with the, uh, the early, uh, the late eighties WWF right. stuff, but. um I also watch the indies a lot. Guys okay. like Wolverine and Danger Boy. Yeah, yeah. Gino Giovanni. Yeah. I miss you. I don't know where the hell you are, but right. you know, if you're alive, say hi. I have to say one thing about what scene you said that. 
I don't know, know a lot of people that are happy to see Gino Giovanni from what I've been told on oh. stories. But I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't no. know. I'm just kidding. I'm I don't just, know. I'm oh. just trying to bust. I want Gino oh. to come on the show. Oh, so geez. I'm trying to, no. Good. Oh, I thought I was going to shit myself again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I, I grew up watching you. those right. guys. TJ Richter, yep. another dude. He's awesome. Right. Like, these are people I grew up watching on, on public access. And then... Uh, I've been in the ring with them now. Right, right. So that's like, that was one of the coolest experiences. Yeah, yeah. So you might have seen Brickhouse back in the day then too, right? One of my so, trainers. Yeah. Yeah, and he's another awesome. one that's just, yeah. he makes me laugh. Right. He, I never stop laughing when I'm around him. That's good though. Yeah. So that's who trained you. Because again, yeah. I would have found that out if I kept the old form. And, and Jose Perez. I okay. got to give him credit because he really pushed me to be a better me. Nice. You know, Jose's like, coming on in two weeks and it's like cool. five years in the making. He was on my original list yeah. that I wanted to do this show. Yeah, he's great. And so. I've learned a, a thousand different Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Like, right. All right. That's cool. Um, Bobby has some more questions. What are some of your favorite matches? Just to watch. To watch. I don't. Not. I don't know. Let's find out. To watch or Bobby Rossi. Does it for to watch? Um, to watch or be part of his favorite matches? I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to answer both? both. All right. Yeah. So, um, my favorite. One of my favorite matches to watch on like TV or yeah. anything is uh, the Hollywood Backlot Brawl from WrestleMania 12. Goldust and Roddy Piper. Yeah, that's that awesome. that's a fun match to watch because yep. I love the story they told. And uh, one of my favorites of mine to watch, any anything with Montero uh, and anything with Tom Billington or T. Phoenix. Nice. All right. Bobby has one last question. Mm -hmm. Who have you not yet wrestled who can or keep up with you? Who can or can't keep up with you? Um, well, somebody that I thought that I could keep up with yeah. was Christian Casanova. But obviously, you know, we can't make yeah. that a thing anymore. Right. So you never did uh, get to wrestle Christian? No. <sighs> uh, they, we we talked about it right. for a little bit at one point, but it, it, just, it never went through. It yeah. never happened. Um, name them. Anybody. Right. I, I don't think I can't hang with somebody. Right. Uh, I've wrestled with some of the best in the area. I've wrestled with some of the best in other areas. Right. So uh, I'd say just bring it. Nice. You know, I'll okay. wrestle anybody. All right. Steven Lambert wants to know, and I, I want to know too, are you Tony the Tuna? You know, I think there's a the little Tony the Tuna in all of us. Yeah, but I know who Tony the Tuna is, and he lied to me and said it's not him. I mean, I don't know. Stephen Lambert Tuna is, is, is Tony the Somebody's Tuna. got to move the boxes. He so. came here completely dressed, just so you guys know. Like, Tony yeah. the Tuna was on this show. And he <laughs> came here completely dressed and never took his mask off. Never. The whole time he was here. That's dedication. So, that is very, very, very dedicated. <laughs> Last thing. It's not really a question. AJ mm -hmm. Phoenix says it's not a question, but I mm -hmm. definitely think it should be mentioned. Just how much Sean devoted himself to helping out the RWA students before everything shut down. Attending classes, watching every match, and giving almost, if not just as much, feedback as Brickhouse would. Truly an unsung hero in that regard. Please don't let him be humble about it. You should. Oh, it's a good thing man. you're doing. Uh, I, you know, I read that this morning and I thought I was going to cry. Like that was, that was cool because I was there a lot and right. I was trying to give all the information that I could, that I had learned from working with guys like AJ right. and Ophidian or, you know, or Kellen. Yeah. Kellen Thomas is amazing yeah. in the ring. Absolutely. I don't, I can't say enough good things about him. Yeah. It's obnoxious like, right he's so good but it's but that's a great thing you're doing it really is i mean it shows that you want to give back you know i try i uh, mean i'm trying all right <laughs> so i got a little show i got away from doing a little little segment on the show called pick one you get three questions okay so it's either music movies or tv uh you know we'll start with movies all right so movies who's your favorite actor in a movie uh, or a character i guess anything I have so many. It's yeah. like um uh 
Oh, I can't think of one. All right, right now. how about um, how about um, what's a movie that that you love that would shock me that you love this movie? <laughs> Powder. Powder. Yeah, that's actually a good movie. Yeah, yes. it's a great movie. Yes, it is. And I would recommend it to anybody. All right, um, and the last one would be what's your favorite movie uh, series like? You know, Saw. Saw. Yeah, I can't get enough of Saw. I could watch that every day. Right. There's a new one that's supposed to come out that was already supposed to come out, and I'm dying to watch it still. It's got Chris Rock in it. Okay. Uh, a, a friend of mine uh, on on Facebook mm. mentioned this and said, "What a weapon, Dan Drain." So <laughs> show, show everybody your weapon? weapon. Yeah. This one. This is Tiffany. It's Tiffany. Yeah, based on uh, I think we're alone now by Tiffany. Yep. All right. <laughs> and. Uh, this is my fun little Negan bat. Nice. So you're yeah. a fan of The Walking Dead, too? Yeah, I like The Walking Dead. Me, too. Um, this is like, <laughs> this is just my my Frankenstein. Right. You know, this is um, something I thought of that I'd never really seen before. And I was like, I, I mowed over the idea, trying it different ways and whatnot. And one day I was just like, does anybody have some Legos lying around? And I bought this thing for like a dollar. Right, of course. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. And it's it's actually like, it's grown into something bigger. And I actually have two pairs of nunchucks. You do? With Legos on it now that I didn't I didn't bring because, right. you know, I didn't, you know, I wasn't going to. You weren't going to attack me with the uh, nunchucks. No. You're not going to attack me with <laughs> no, that, are you? No. Wait a minute. Although I have. Hit Tom Billington with this. Have you? Yeah, I left all sorts of marks on his yeah. chest. Did he yeah, deserve it, it though? That's what I want. Because uh, I've never met Tom. I just want to know. Did he deserve it? He deserved it then. Hey, he deserved it. No? I don't uh, think he deserved it because. <laughs> yeah, probably. All he right. probably did. <laughs> all right. So, so listen, I, I got another segment called Would You Rather? Okay. okay, I'm going to give you two things. You're going to pick which one you'd rather do. I think I should have asked uh, Dick Lane this one. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have telekinesis, ability to move things with your mind? I think I said that right. Or telepathy. Telepathy. Telepathy, thank you. Ability to read minds. Which one would you rather have? Uh, telepathy or the force, huh? Uh, see, the, the Star Wars nerd in me wants to say... Uh, telekinesis. Yeah, but I think it would be more fun to be a telepathic. Yeah, to read. You know. Minds. Yeah, I think that would be really fun. Yeah. Oh, or sad because if well, they were talking crap true. about you, but, well, then you could you have know, your weapon in. You. Yeah, exactly. You know, I could I could listen to a crowd. Yep. That way, and <laughs> you know. Yeah. See, was, see how I, they feel about. If you. I was shitting my pants in the ring, I would know it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather to be forced to sing along or dance to every s single song you hear? So you had to either sing along to every song or dance till the song's over. Uh, definitely dance. Yeah. I, I, I like. I love music and yep. I like singing to the songs, but I have no singing voice. It's okay. terrible. All right. So um, I yeah, I could dance like all okay. day long. Cool. And you're doing the world a favor because you said you have a, not a very good voice. So, yeah, exactly. You, go. you don't have to hear this. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Would you rather find true love today or win the lottery next year? Well, honestly, I think I found true love, but uh, yep. the lottery would be cool. Yeah, the lottery would lottery, be cool. The lottery would be pretty cool because yeah. I would just open up a homeless shelter. There you go. Nice. It's been like Get one back. of my life goals for a good. long time. So That's good. That would be really fun, actually. Now, what city did you grow up in? I'm actually really glad that you like said that. That's cool. Well, I'm glad. Um, but like, what? What's because I I grew up in Lowell, and there was a lot of homelessness in Lowell. So I, mean, I grew did up you see in a lot Lowell, of that. But yeah, um, I just know there's a lot it's going too in much. Providence. There's too much, especially yeah. Uh, and it's just been like an ongoing issue in this country that I think needs to be solved. Yeah, in and it's, some it, it, way, it's getting form, worse and you know? worse and worse. It yeah. is, and it should be getting better. Honestly. Yeah. So yes. I think that would be the, like, the city of Lowell. Just for instance, just just spent like millions of dollars sprucing up a, a building mm -hmm. when they could have opened up these two other buildings that are gigantic and and put people in there to work and yeah. took care of the homeless yeah. for years, fed them, clothed, you know, everything. Yeah. But no, it's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. 
All right. Um, before we play the name game, we're going to play this other game called Blank versus Blank. I got this from my buddy Dan. Okay. Dan Bollier from his show, Let Freedom Ring. Okay. All right. And, uh, Stephen Lust or Stephen Broad? You got to oh, pick man. one. <laughs> you got to pick one. Hey, this kid made his brother pick mom or dad, and he didn't hesitate when he said mom. I'm going to pull a loophole, and I'm going to say Stephen Lust because I haven't seen Stephen Broad in a long time. Because Pimp Screw Daddy Apple it. Cinnamon is is the jam. All right. Okay. <laughs> ah, Dick Lana, Todd Graham. Oh, ah, I told you these oh. aren't easy. These are made to be hot. You got and, and that's the sad thing. You know, you got to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> the next one might oh. be hot too. Dick Lane. All right, Sorry, Todd. <laughs> Sorry, Todd, but he didn't pick you. Don't pick me poorly. <laughs> Tom Billington, oh, Derek no. Conway. Tom Billington. All right. I love you, Derek. And uh, and that's it. Well, we'll play the name game, though. Um, you say you love Derek. Why don't we start with Derek Conway? He is determined. He's definitely, yeah. he's good. He's really good. Right. Uh, I don't think he ever gets enough credit. Yeah. Uh, I think towards the end of uh, everything before the shutdown, I think he was lacking just a little bit. But right. uh, that's because I know he's capable of of much more. Right. Because I've been in the ring with him. Yeah. And we've we've killed it. Right. And it's, that was probably one of my favorite matches at PG season two. And uh, there was uh, some of his stuff towards the end there I wasn't really a fan of. But, mm -hmm. you know, we all have good matches and right. bad matches. We all have our own opinions and whatnot. So yeah. what I say doesn't mean shit because at the end of the day, he's still a good wrestler. Right. And it's just, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about uh, the voice of New England, Rich Palladino? He's a great dude. He's a really great dude. Um uh, I've only talked to him maybe a handful of times, but uh, he always makes me laugh. He's a great guy. Uh, he just announced me for the first time recently at uh, oh, NWWE. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was forever ago. But. Right. No, that's great. All right, how about I, I know where I met you. New World Wrestling Extreme mm -hmm. owner, Jimmy Allen, J Trooper. He's awesome. He's he's a he's a cool guy to talk to. Right. And uh he really just he kind of just took me in and made me feel comfortable right from the start. Nice. I think that was like that's notable. That's really cool to see and and especially like a promoter. Right. And uh that makes me want to do more for the right. company. He he is a great guy though. You know, as you yeah. get to know him. I've known Jimmy a long time. He is a great yeah. guy. All right. How about um how about Delilah Hid? She's cool. She's another one that I've been in the ring with that is just really good. Yeah. She can remember everything. She has the best memory nice. I've ever seen in my life. Right. Uh, yeah. It, it was like you could say a whole mess of things at her and she'll remember it like that. Right. And it's, you don't see that a lot. Yeah. Um, I th I always, that always stuck with me. I thought that was really cool and I've never had a problem with her. Uh, and she's stiff. Is she? Yeah, she will <laughs> nice. knock I didn't your know ass that. out. Good. Let me tell you. Good. Especially if no she's joke. wrestling the guy. She needs yeah. to smack him hard. She definitely, you know, definitely hangs with the dudes. Nice. Well. All right. How about our Mike Montero? Mike Montero is somebody that's consistently made my wrestling better since I probably started back in 05, 06. Nice. And we didn't even get in the ring with each other until uh just a couple of years ago wow. at proving ground okay which was wild because for like 10 years we were in the same company and we never like we never really worked with each other we tried to once for this other like off show thing that we were like just practicing right. you know but uh yeah we didn't like we both just kind of had our separate paths and then we met at the fork in the road and i think uh I think we're actually due for one more, if I'm not mistaken. We're uh, one and one right now. Nice. I got to get him on the show here, man. He, yeah. He's a very talented he's kid. He's very knowledgeable. Definitely. How about um, AJ Phoenix? Dedicated. 
uh, that kid is a heartthrob, and he's been pushing himself to be better in wrestling and in life yeah. for years now. And he's been around it for so long. Like, I'm really surprised that he's not working at other places. Right, right. Because he should be. He's probably one of the best that I've seen. Right. And, but I mean, he's got a great good job for his age. I mean, come on. Dude. Yeah. I mean, really, I mean, he's a hardworking kid. He's a good worker. He's been doing yeah. it for a while. Yeah. You know, I'm, I am surprised that he hasn't worked a, a lot of other places. Yeah. Too. I'm actually, I'm glad that you said his name because I was kind of hoping that I would get the chance to say something about him. Nice. So he's a good dude. All right. Well, how about I? We'll, we'll stay right with the family. How about T Phoenix? T Phoenix will fuck anybody up like you know this <laughs> yeah. like he will it happens don't worry about it. tough yeah and but he's like you know he's one of my best friends right and he's so fun to be around he's always got ideas you know without t phoenix i would not be wrestling right now nice okay it, it was him that gave me the shot right uh and honestly, it's that it's that that's kept me going. Uh, that's why I have RWA tattooed on my wrist. Oh, wow. like, nice, you know, nice. Everybody to see. Like, that's right. You should. That's home, and it's because of him. He's sacrificed and been through more than anybody can imagine for RWA. Right. And he deserves all the credit. Nice. Well, I'm gonna eventually. I'm gonna be doing a thing with him and his and AJ together. Uh, it's part of a series. I'll tell you about it on after off here. Um, how about um? I know I seen you had at least one match with him. He may be getting signed soon to AEW. Beefcake. Beefcake. Hey, I uh, worked him a couple of times. Oh, is he? He's fun. Huge. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, I don't huge, even have to man. try to, right. to. You know. Yeah. He just he'll just pick me up. Yeah. Put me wherever he wants me, and I just kind of have to go with it. Right. <laughs> so you wrestled strong. him a few times. Now, would you wrestle times, him? Yeah. Where? where? Uh, I was at outside the box. Okay. As well, um, one was in a triple threat with Montero, and that was nice. really cool. Uh, and another was a singles match, I believe. Cool. And he's fun. He's easy. Nice. And you know, what do you think about his tag team, Bear Country? Great team. Yeah, it's a good team. I like yeah, to cool. see them. I mean, they've been working the uh, doc shows for AEW. Yeah, you I've seen like, a couple of them. Yeah, so hopefully, yeah. hopefully they'll get it. You know, get a shot on national television. It'll be pretty cool. Hey, I mean that's cool. I've been in the ring with one of them. So right, I mean, exactly. Hey. All right, how about uh, how about Aphidian? Aphidian is one of the smartest people I've ever met. Because in I only like I only talked to him. I don't, we only conversated for such a short time. Right in in a day and there was a lot that i had learned he really put it into perspective uh anything i needed to work on with myself anything that stood out uh just see i don't want like i'm trying not to like give away the you know yeah all right well how about but, uh, uh He's very knowledgeable right uh, i learned a lot in yeah. just a day than most people have you know, try teaching me in a lifetime. So. Nice. That's excellent. That's cool. All right. How about um, David Baker? His chops hurt. His chops hurt bad. I bet they do. Yeah. This, <laughs> this, like, I, like let me, I've never been scared of a chop yeah. in my life until the day I had to work with David Baker because I knew it was coming. Right. And I knew it was going to suck. I didn't know how much it was going to suck. And now I know how much it sucks. <laughs> right. It, it sucks. All right. How about our Devin Baker? Devin's funny. Devin's a funny guy. Uh, I see a lot of his father's like mannerisms yeah. in the ring, which I think is really cool because you know his dad's not wrestling right. as much anymore. So it's it's fun to see that. Uh it definitely gives me nostalgia. Um and he's very hard working. Very hard work. All the bakers are right. very hard workers. And I think that's very uh, inspirational. Nice. It's funny, though, that you the first thing you said out of your mouth was he's funny. Because yeah. when I said to Brickhouse that he was going to be coming on the show, he had to cancel and you know, all that. But it was from the past. Yeah. But uh, the first thing Brickhouse said was he's so funny. Yeah. The yeah, same exact thing you real, said. Yeah, he's real funny. All I right. think you'll like him. How about uh, Doc Ozone? 
Doc Ozone is the homie. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Ozone is family forever. Yes. Forever, ever, forever, ever. All right. I love that dude. Me Straight too. Straight up. <laughs> All right. How about, um, how about Brick House? Brick House Baker. is another, is another one that's just real funny. Like he could, he could take that uh, he just changes the atmosphere as right. soon as he walks in because you know like he's thinking about something and uh <laughs> if he doesn't like what you're doing you're gonna know it and i think that's really cool because he's always straight up with you right he's tough but people need that yeah absolutely know? absolutely how about um, i had a kid in here not too long ago the victorious big brett ryan goslin He's another one that's really smart, really athletic. Yeah. Really fun to be in the Starting ring to put with. put it all together, too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to get back in the ring with him. I right. really hope it happens soon because yeah. he's a dude that I'd like to, I would take the trip up to Maine for. Right. You know, because he's up there, right? Yeah, he's been working for Limitless. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you should be up there, things. too. I'd like to go visit the Maine boys. You know, he's, he's, yeah. Give him a call. <laughs> All right. How about um, uh, Isana? The I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna butcher it. The suplex sweetheart. She's uh, yeah. That was right, right? Yeah. All right. Exactly. Uh, I don't want to get suplexed. She's been one of my best friends for years. Nice. So uh, we we talk pretty regularly yeah. for the most part. Uh, the pandemic kind of screwed everybody. Right. Excuse me, but um. She is uh, perseverance. Right. I mean, that's like when I think of her, I think of that because she that's what she does. You know, it's no matter what she's doing, she gets through it. Yeah. And she, you know, she always slays that dragon nice. and moves on. And I think and that's sticks really up cool. for her friends. Exactly. Remember, she she's yelled at always, me. Remember that time she yelled at me always. on Facebook. She, she, that's a, that she's you need friends very like that. Loyal. Exactly, you do. Very you need loyal friend. She's absolutely. Really cool. All right, I, I'm going to ask this question. I, I asked this name, but I'm not positive about. It. Did you wrestle Bloodsaw? Yes. Okay, who's With. Bloodsaw? I just figured out that's not a name I usually bring up in the name game. Bloodsaw. That's at PPW, right? I don't. I, I don't really remember Bloodsaw, where I saw. Cause I just write the names. I haven't. Re I don't write down the promotions. That's. Like where, I, where you might have wrestled Bloods, them. Bloods, yeah. Yeah. I want to I wanna say that was at PPW in a triple threat with um, Nick. Nick. Um, oh, man, it happens. Curry. So Nick Curry? No, no. Um, oh, oh, Nick and Ben, right? No. No. Okay. No. See, this is what happens. So, yes. Do, do, do. Marijuana affects the memory. Yeah. No. no, no. Unfortunately, we wish it could Why have been Nick Steele. This? I don't know. Oh, he's going to kill me. Is he? He's going to fucking kill me. Oop, oh, beep. man. Sorry. That it happens. Oh, Why don't just keep going in the name way game? Way too low. I smoke way too much weed. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right. No problem. <laughs> Bullet Joe. Bullet Joe is one of my favorite matches in Proving Ground. Yeah. And... Uh, I really, I really hope to get in the ring with him again because he's another one that's super athletic. Yeah, he is. Oh, that's gonna bug me now. I can't remember. How about um? How about Dick Lane? Delta. It was Nick Delta. It was, ah, there we go. I See See that? I'm not an asshole. All right. <laughs> it was a triple threat for one of the titles at PPW. Yeah. And. I love PPW. I will. I will always take the drive up there because it's it's a fun place to be. Right. The atmosphere is great. Uh, Roma is even better to talk to. Oh, nice. Okay. So what is what what is that? Paradise Alley. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How about uh, Shay Cash? Shay Cash is fun. Shay Cash is a fun dude to be around. Just just in the locker room, yep. just to like hang with. Like he's just a cool dude to talk to because he's right. that funny. Uh, he's definitely fun to be in the ring with. We've done a lot of really cool stuff together. Uh, one time, I actually I jumped off Dick Lane's back and I gave him a, a hurricanrana like while he was on one knee yeah. and he hit his head in the mat and it was one of the craziest things I've ever done in the ring. Nice. But uh, 
I think you said Dick Lane. Yes. Before that. Yes. I never got to answer that because I was a jerk. <laughs> oh, okay, no, because you, you answered that you knew who yeah. Nick was. Yeah, so yep. Dick Lane. Uh, so I'm the jerk, but not going back yeah. to the name. So <laughs> yeah, no. You're you're all right on that. Uh, Dick Lane is the homie. Dick Lane. Dick Lane has. Uh, <laughs> He is freestyle rapped over my theme song. And I think that's one of the coolest things that any friend can do for right. anybody. <laughs> and uh, He's always a great person to have around. And he's another guy that should be on every show. I right. don't know what y'all are doing, but book Dick Lane. Yeah, it's like the, like you said, though, at the end, before the he was really starting to kill yeah, it everywhere. Picking up steam every, yeah, and then was. everybody was, he was. like, let's see. Yep. All right, how about um, Chris Cruz? Chris Cruz. Yeah, we maybe one. tell a story about Chris Cruz that doesn't involve, boop, uh, you know, number two and in your pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, I'm not. No, there sure. isn't any. Yeah, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we spend. We used to spend a lot of time together outside of shows and stuff. Okay. So it was. He's just a cool dude. Right. Um, he's a great dude to hang with. A uh, great dude to spit things back and forth with. He will definitely keep you thinking. Right. Uh, he'll definitely keep you on on subject. Um, and he's great to be in the ring with. He's one of my favorite great people to like wrestle. Nice. Ever. Okay. How about um the Platinum Honeys? Ava Everett, Angel Sinclair. Uh, I. I never really talked to Angel a whole lot, but Ava's great. Yeah. Uh, I met her um I met her a long time ago actually um in West Warwick. And uh it was at a show that AG was at and I was at and uh she's always been pleasant right. to be around. Uh she's definitely getting a lot better in the ring. Yeah. Uh see, I've kind of I've kind of been following right. but not not so much. Uh, the pandemic really kind of shut things down. I really kind of yeah. haven't been focusing a lot right. on wrestling. Well, there's not really a lot of companies that are doing. Yeah. I mean, Chaotic just started doing stuff yeah, I'm like, like, couple, like maybe two months ago. Yeah, so. I'm like just starting to get back into right. the fold, starting yeah. to watch it more and stuff right. like that. But uh, from what I understand, they've always been pushing to be better and right proven that time and yeah time yeah again. i think i think she's doing well with the ava take a thing that she's doing and all that yeah you i know? think that's I mean, cool i like so. the uh i like the early 90s vibe right too I think yeah that's exactly really cool all right how about um steven lust steven lust is awesome he's a he's a funny guy <laughs> he's someone i wish i saw more of right um he was another one picking up steam, picking yep. up steam. And then we all just kind of got shut down by the pandemic, right. which is really unfortunate because these are, these are all people that should be everywhere by now. And I think we all planned to kind of be right. bouncing around and, you know, getting our faces out there and, yeah. you know, and we all just kind of got forced to stay home and watch TV. Yeah, pretty, it pretty much sucked Depressing. for everybody. Yeah, yeah like, absolutely. That's why I was nervous about coming on to talk about why? wrestling because it's just like it's been so long. It, yeah, I feel like it's been forever. Like it has been forever, well, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I did meet. You, were you on Trooper shows? The one that I catered yeah. for? Him? So yeah. I mean, like, yeah. You know. which, where is that? Yeah, because it just didn't snow. It was I'm snowing hungry. today and stuff. It just didn't happen. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Adrian Vine. He's, he, he's somebody that I got a chance to work with when I was up at PPW. Okay. Down at PPW. I think it's south from here. Um, and he was really fun to be in the ring with. Right. He's an awesome dude. All right. Dan Evans. Dan Evans was somebody that I worked with at the first, uh, the the Provident, the Gansett Cup for uh, Live Prov. Okay. Uh, before it was Providence Wrestle Party, and uh, he was he was another one I loved to be in the ring with. Yeah. I knew him from uh, one time I went up to NEW. That's I was gonna, I, gonna ask you, was that the Daniel Evans from NEW? You used yeah. to tag team with Keith Youngblood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Just yeah, want to yeah, make yeah. sure we're talking about the same guy. Yeah, and he was great to be in the right. ring with. Super fun. Super easy. Yeah. Uh, it's very talented. He's, he's punch. He'll yeah. knock you out. 
right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> they, were, they were a really good tag team. Yeah, they, they were. They really yeah, were. They were. I was kind of bummed when they broke up. Yeah, I was too. I was like, no. Right? I was, like, I was, I was expecting to see them work with a lot of different people around Yeah, I, I, they, I thought they were picking up Snead yep, too. Exactly. They, they cut that short. Yep. How about on Jamie Tucker? He's the future. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's one that he's another one that should be everywhere by now. He's right. super talented, super agile, athletic. He can do almost anything, and he's a good listener. Right, great listener actually. He's he's one of the few people that I've gone out and tried to help that has taken uh, what I've given him, and he ran with it. Nice, and it shows. It shows in his work. All right, how about um uh, Sierra? Sierra's cool. Uh, we've only hung like a handful of times right. at shows, a couple of live prov events. Uh, she, uh, actually, I was terrified when she hit uh, Poison Rana and Scorpions uh, way back. Was it like probably right before the what, pandemic Limitless? started? Hmm? Where, where, did, where did she do it? I don't remember where it was. I just remember seeing a video of her doing the Poison Rana. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Reverse Rana. Yep. And uh, her body like scorpion. And yeah. I was like, no, yeah, you she know, got it's her. It's like, ooh, that's just funny. Well, because I had, I had um, um, Ch Channing Thomas and B.I.G. on. And, and at one point, they were doing stuff together. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, then she then she had got hurt like that. But, but she's another one that, like, she started training and she got so good so fast. Right. It was like... Yeah, you know, you would have missed it. Right. <laughs> it How about um? I'm just gonna throw more names out. Ryan Drew. Ryan Drew. I yeah. don't have a whole lot of no. experience with him. No, I mean, um, I said happy birthday to him recently. Yeah, it was his birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Ryan. Happy birthday. Yep. Uh, I've never. It was actually... mom too. His mom's birthday was the other really? day too. I think uh, yesterday. Well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we never really right. talked or anything like that. Okay. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about him. Um, how about um Jose Perez? Jose, I can't say enough good things about. Yeah. Um, without him, I wouldn't have learned half of the things I even learned. Just trying to better myself in general. Right. Um, he's given me a lot of some of the, like the best tools that I've had uh, in terms of uh, you know direction where right. I want to go, uh, where what my body's doing, right. positioning. Uh, a lot of the fundamentals that you really kind of need yeah. in there or else you, you don't know where you're running into. You right. Know? So, uh, with, yeah, without him, I wouldn't have had a lot of that foundation and I wouldn't have had a lot of the uh, fun little tools that I like to use because I'm a fan of Lucha. And right. I think everybody knows that I'm a fan of Lucha. So I try to I try to do as much of that as I can nice. without overdoing it. All right. How about Davey Cash? David Cash is a cool dude. Yeah. He's a real cool dude. Uh, he was somebody that I always wanted to get in the ring with. And uh, I'm really fortunate that we did get to do that um, before the pandemic started. Right. I wish that we could have, uh, when we did wrestle, it was outside and it was like a thousand degree weather. You know, it was like Bikram yoga. So, right. if, you know, <laughs> when you're out there and it's like that sweaty, before you get to the ring. Right. You, I don't want to do nothing. You know? No, I hear <laughs> no, you. I hear you. But um, he, he's definitely somebody I'd like to get in the ring with again because I know we're capable of creating some real magic. Okay. And I think that'd be fun. How about Chris Pyro? Chris Pyro is another one. That <sighs> Not I, a talented I kid like, too, though, huh? I only got to work with him once, and it was in a six-man tag. Right. Uh, and uh, you know we we did a little bit, but I don't think it was enough. He's another one that I'd I'd like to just work with one on one, yeah. and because I think we'd kill it. Right. I think it'd be very entertaining. Nice. Uh, Davey Ann. Uh, I I only met her a handful of times. Uh, I did go to a Halloween party at, at her house one year. Oh yeah. That was that was great. She's a great host. No uh, kidding. Great That's in the cool. Ring. Uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty fun. Yeah, was, I bet. It was just a random, like, hey, we're having a Halloween party. Come Everyone's on up. invited. Sure, I'll go. Whatever. That's pretty cool. And that was, that was cool. It was right? a cool night. How about, uh, the Sea Stars? I love the Sea Stars. I love working with the Sea Stars. Do you? Yeah, because they're, they're another, uh, 
they're both always trying to to be better. Yep. Right, they're always right. trying to get and better. And they are. They're, they're, always, act, yeah. they're really they're open always doors working places. towards the next yep. thing. And you you know, you really kind of need yep. people like that in wrestling. Like you Definitely. need people that are going to push you to be better. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, they do that a lot. Uh they're they're fun to be in the ring with. Uh yeah, I don't. Then I, I really like. I don't know what else to say. Uh, All right. The, I loved working with both of them. Right. Yeah. Okay. How about uh, Tripleicious? Tripleicious is a guy that uh, if you got time before the show, and he's rolling around, get in that ring because you're gonna learn something. Right. And you learn something every single time. Yep. He's like, he's one of the smartest wrestlers in the area. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, he's been doing a very long yeah, time. And you know what? He, he deserves better, I think. Yeah. I think he deserves a lot better because he's smart. Oh, yeah. No, I think I think he should be anywhere. I mean, he's he's obviously he's awesome. I mean, that the help he gave Christian, I've seriously, seen, like I've when they him put them together. Amazing things. Oh, definitely. And uh, there's like, I can't say anything bad about him. Right. I mean, he's too good. Yeah. And no, he, he should be doing things made too. He's better just rolling around. Right. And he loves to give back. Yeah. You know, so yeah. he, I mean, who doesn't love that? Really? Yeah. He's definitely someone you want in every locker room. Absolutely. Um, how about uh, Chris Casanova? you have any, any crossings with Christian? Man, we, we've done shows together. Yeah. Uh, but it's, again, it's one of those dudes I wish I got in the right. room with just once because I think it would be really magical. I right. think it would be really cool. I think we'd do a lot of really fun stuff. Um, I'm bummed that, I hear you. that I won't get that chance anytime soon. But right. you know, who knows what the future holds. Right. So, so you're a Rhode Island guy. Yeah. Okay. So, how about do you, do you uh, Wolverine? Have you, ever, <laughs> have you gotten Wolverine. to meet and talk to yeah. Wolverine? Because I've actually yeah. met him too. Great guy. Oh yeah, man. him. So, him so cool his son guy. is great. Yeah. Um, one of uh, one of my favorite moments with Wolverine was in one of the uh, the rumbles we did, and. Uh, they told me that I was going to be in the ring with them, and uh, they told me that they were going to eliminate me. And I thought that was one of the like coolest experiences I could have like really right. had for me because when I grew up watching them, they were some of the people that inspired me to keep going. Right. You know? Right. So to to do that was a lot of fun and uh you know we'd, we'd work it and i'd be against the ropes and they clothesline me over uh but i landed on the apron and alfredo came back and popped me one and I, yeah yeah I see i've I never met it. danger boy <laughs> i've never met that i Dangerous. only met wolverine <laughs> so no but they're great they're that's great awesome people and you said it's not, not uh, very it's like chris right Chris. Chris is his son, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm doing, I want to do a series, and I think mm -hmm. I'm going to ask them to do it because of the dynamics. I think Chris isn't really looking to be a wrestler, right? He wants to be in the business. Yeah. So I think the father-son type, that would be great for my series. Yeah. Just because it's different than a father-sons that wrestle. Yeah, and they both have different perspectives yeah. on everything you and, ask and, them and I, like I said, I think they're both, or... I met, I met, uh, Wolverine and I talked to his son on online. Both great yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah, so. they're they're very supportive yep. people. Um, they they never stop right coming up with ideas too. Right. I think now great. wasn't there another guy from Rhode Island like Dini Ka Kama? Ah, C A M A. Dana. Oh, what Dana. was it? Dana. Yeah, Dana. that was it. I yeah, remember that a, name. He's from another a long one. Time ago. He's another one that's awesome to be in the ring with. Right. See, yeah. I haven't seen or like I I forgot his first name. That's how long. Very it's solid been. in there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, how about uh, some of the other guys from around? Like, are you familiar with the guys in the top rope area? The younger guys, like uh, Channing Thomas. I know Channing. Channing's a cool dude. I've been in the ring with him uh, once. We were in a, uh, it was a triple threat tag match with uh, with a Beta Ro Omega. Yep. And uh, the main event, which is another team that's really fun. I okay. wish they were around a lot more. Uh, and yeah, every time I've worked with him, it's been great. Uh, we did a little thing at a, a Bob a Hangs with Bob seminar. Okay, once. yeah, Bob it, Evans. Yeah, it went really well. Bob Evans is another guy yeah. that I learned a tremendous amount right. from. 
And uh, we didn't always see eye to eye, but you know, we're cool with that. Right, and, right. You know, it doesn't have to be black and white. There's yeah. a little gray area. So yeah. uh, I think Bob's in the gray area with a lot of different people though. No yeah. offense, Bob. <laughs> but no, he's, he's a great dude. Yeah. I learned a lot from them and uh, taking a trip with them to, out to, uh, was it uh, North Carolina? Right. To PWX, South Carolina. That was, that was a fun time. It was a really fun time, and I, I I'll never forget that. Right, the three men on the couch, you know. <laughs> nice, but don't get me wrong. Either. Like Bob's helped a million, so many yeah. people. I mean, almost every wrestler that wrestles in New England yeah. has a Bob Evans story. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and he's I, helped a lot of people. I, I slept in the back seat of a van with the couch. Nice, <laughs> nice. Was Bob yeah. driving? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, they didn't make me drive at all. It was awesome. That's very was, good. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> all right. How about another young guy, Alec Price? Alec the Price prize. is a cool guy. Ah, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he's uh, he's somebody that I've wanted to work with for a really long time. Uh, even back when he was doing uh, showcase stuff, right? And uh, when he was like first coming yep. up, and. Uh, I can't wait to mix it up with him, to be honest, because it's one of the matches that I've kind of I'd like you know, to see you guys wrestle. See, you know, but absolutely. We, we don't. We're not under the same roof as often, right. so it's one of those things we kind of got to bring him in to work with me. Huh? Let's do it. <laughs> how about uh, how about Pat Dillon? Have you met Pat? Yeah, he runs a UFO. UFO, yeah, yeah. I did, I met Pat, and uh, I actually opened up his. Last UFO show. Oh, nice! I'm pretty sure it was his last one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go. I didn't get to go to the last two of them. Things. No, but it was fun. Yeah, it was. It was a fun time. Uh, the locker room was fun. I loved it there. Yeah. I, I hope to go back soon. Okay. How about uh, Bo Douglas? Bo is another one Bo. that's super smart, uh, super supportive. Yep. Uh, and he's he's he really is kind of a staple yes. in. New England wrestling. Oh, absolutely. Because he really pushes people to be better. Yeah. And you see it in his students' work. Yeah. And, you, you know, uh, I watched him have a uh, a Don't Wake Daddy match once. Oh, really? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was definitely a fun experience. That's right. uh, It's one of those random, like, one-off matches you'll get out of watching anything from uh, Providence Wrestle Party. Okay. Which is, um, they're really a whole new breed of animal I'll over have to there. check them out. Yeah, Sully has got it down. Who's that, Sully Banger? Yeah, that's Sully. Sully is a good dude. All and right. Sully runs a tight ship, and it's one of the, the best ships that I've Tell them on. more about it then. Again, like, what's the name of the company? The, the company is Providence Wrestle Party. It's run by Sully Banger, and it's if you're looking for a show that's wrestling and theater kind of together, look no further because that's the show you want to go to. Nice. Speaking how you said theater, yeah, I'm gonna bring up a name right now that's killing it with his entrances for sure. Sure, Timmy Kilgard. <laughs> right, he's, he's a fun his, dude. I, seriously, the entrance he's been yeah. doing, the theatrical ones where he's singing yeah. as he comes out. Yep. The dude's got a lot of talent, man. Yeah, he Obviously, does. He, he does. can really sing. And it's the, the, I think the it's amount great. of effort he puts in yes. into everything yep. is really, really yep. fun. If you go see him on a show, he's he's giving you everything he's got, man. Oh, coming out with the end of the Exactly. You will remember him before you leave. Yep. You know, because he's one of those guys that he comes out, he stands out, he, right? he makes an impression. He's been a good and wrestler he's a for good a good wrestler. Yes. Yeah, I yes. worked him once a long time ago. Way before, you know, this was right. an NCW show back in the day. And uh, he had long hair at the time and he was doing this like grunge metal yep. rock gimmick. Well, I think he was a hippie too. He just had long, yeah, scraggly hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was definitely sure a music what the type gimmick. gimmick. Was, yeah, yeah. But he'll I, tell like, us online now. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get yelled at for not remembering what it was. But uh, yeah, I remember that match. And yeah. that was the first time I ever worked heel. Right. So that was a fun experience for me because I had never done that before. Right, right. And now I got to convince all these people who have never seen me that, that I'm a bad do guy. It. So I got to thank him because without him, 
they would have never booed me. Right. They would they wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, They'd yeah. probably tell me to get get out. You right. know, like, like you know, like he's a talented kid though. Like I saw him, yeah. I saw the thing, and, and I was like, wow. And I hit him up. I said, dude, that's really like good. So what did I do? Like a jerk, I double booked and had him on. So now I got to talk to Dick and and do a second show in one week in March to get make sure I get him on. Yeah. Because I double booked on his date, and when I double booked, I put the other person's name. Oh. Oh, so no. he hits me up, so I guess I'm not yeah, doing that date. No. And I'm like, um, I do that a lot. Well, when you do have him, he's yeah. going to have a lot of really cool stories for Oh, I'm you. sure he's going to, yeah. Because, I mean, he knows Sonny and all those guys. He he's been everybody. wrestling for, for so he knows long. everyone. So, <laughs> listen, thanks for coming on. Do you want to plug Thank yourself you. on social media real quick? Yeah, you know what? And your shirt? Follow me on Twitter, at Sean Leader. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Take Me To Your Leader. Uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash nice. take me to your leader or pro wrestlingtees.com slash follow the leader and buy this shirt because it only costs like $20. Nice. Thanks, bro. Wow. Peace. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.